welcome back everybody to our intermediate and advanced civil 3d design in this video we're going to carry on with our corridor design specifically adding in our knuckles and our cul-de-sacs before we do this however we haven't defined the profiles for our knuckles and our cul-de-sacs yet because we have to do something slightly different for those in order to help us make this work slightly better and uh, make our lives a little bit easier when we're going to design these now I'm going to start off by creating the profiles for these three objects. So under the profiles, I'm going to create profile by from surface. In the drop down, we see our cul-de-sac edge of alignment, uh, east knuckle and west knuckle edge of alignment. So we're going to start off with our cul-de-sac. I now have three surfaces in here. I have my existing ground, which I want to add in. I got my subdivision top, which I want to add in. And then I have the sub base, which I don't want to add in. Now my existing ground, I'm going to change the style to existing ground. My design top, so this will be the subdivision top. I'm going to make this a different color because I want to utilize this, uh, this surface for some elevations, but I don't want it to interfere with my design. So I'm just going to make it my groundwater line, which is a blue dash line. And I'll hit OK. As we see here, these will be the names of them. Unfortunately, we can't rename them uh, yet. We'll have to do that afterwards. I'm going to click Draw and Profile View. I'm going to name this cul-de-sac EOA. And I'm going to hit Create Profile View. I will drop that again over to the right. And we see our lines in here, which I am going to go right now and rename them. Call the sack edge of asphalt existing. Call the sack edge of asphalt tie in. So I'm going to utilize this surface for my tie in elevations. And we'll see that here in a second. Another thing I want to do is go into my profile view properties, my stations. And I want to user specify my range from about minus 10 to, we'll go to 80. So I want to make it a little bit longer so I can look at where I'm clicking. I don't want my green profile view extents to be on both edges. I want to see the ends of these blue lines. Now this blue line is directly from this surface here it will help me derive my elevations for my knuckle tie-ins for my cul-de-sac tie-ins. And the reason I do this, I find it just a little bit easier uh, as long as you're monitoring things and looking at things to make changes to this. So we are going to go profiles, create profile by layout now. And I want to do a design profile for this. So I'm going to name it call the sack EOA design. It's my design profile. I'll hit OK. And I'm going to draw just tangents for now. I'm not going to worry about any curves. So this, what this blue line tells me is this is my current road design top. So I am going to tie in my uh, call the sack design to the very end of this line. I'm going to place a low point somewhere in the middle. Why is that not letting me? Okay, we'll try it again. All right, what about tangents with curves? All right, after a few minutes of fighting with that, uh, apparently it's because I had polar tracking turned on. So I'm gonna, again, draw tangents. I'm gonna roughly place this somewhere in the middle. Again, we'll change all the grades afterwards. And I'm going to ensure that I snap to the end point of the blue line. Now, snapping to the end points of these lines is very, very, very important because if not, your corridor is going to build to zero. Now, this one here, uh, specifically for the cul-de-sac, I tend to put that low point in the middle. So I'm going to click on the profile grid view 
and I find out that okay oh I got a bunch of other profile bits over here that are now messing with this okay so I'm going to delete those hopefully You know what, we're just going to delete this and redraw it. Profiles, create profile by layout. Now, because we're renaming this the exact same, uh, I believe the other, the other profile, even though we're still, we deleted it, the name is still going to be in the drawing, so we'll have to clean that up here in a moment. Draw tangents. To the center to the end all right let's see if this works now there we go all right so this profile is 73.36 meters long i'll just divide that by two and i'll put this one at 36.68 just so it's in the center and I don't really care about the grades right now, but I believe the road coming in is about a 1.2% grade down and it'll be a 1.2% grade back up. We'll, we'll adjust that afterwards. Once that cul-de-sac is done, I'm going to go and create the profiles for these other two. So we'll do the existing ground profile and then we'll do the design ground profile. And taking a look at this name, it looks like Civil 3D did delete it and it doesn't keep duplicates anymore. So we'll profiles, create from surface. I want my west knuckle. I'm going to add in my existing ground, my subdivision top. I'm going to change existing ground to be existing, the subdivision top to be the groundwater, draw on profile view. West knuckle EOA and I'll create a profile view. Okay, I swear I selected existing ground, but rename this West Knuckle EOA existing, West Knuckle EOA tie-in. And then we're going to make create by layout profile. West Knuckle EOA design. And then I'm just going to draw tangents from the end point here. I know there needs to be a low point roughly in the middle of this one. We'll have to adjust it and snap back to the end point on the right hand side. Now again, the this blue line is taking elevations from our top surface. And we're tying our, our curb return into that. Lastly, I'm going to make my final profile east knuckle. We're going to add an existing ground. We're going to add in our subdivision top. Okay, these are both separate. So we'll draw on profile view. Create our profile view and see if it did the same thing as last time. It did not. Okay, rename these to existing and tie in. And then we will go and profiles create by layout again. East Knuckle EOA design. And this one is going to be a straight run from left to right. And I'll hit enter. So while I save the drawing, this is by far the, um, the easiest way I have found to create your knuckle curb returns, create your cul-de-sac curb returns and monitor them in case 
anything happens to change. Now, the final thing I'm going to do here is go into profile view properties and I'm going to tell these to be a little bit longer. So from minus 10, we'll go to 50. And I'm just rounding it up to the next nearest station. Profile view properties, we'll go from minus 10 to uh, 50 again. And we'll hit OK. So in this video, we created our, our cul-de-sacs and our knuckle curb return alignment profiles, and we threw a design ground in there. In the next video, we will be adding those to our corridor. Thank you.